It's raining again. Like it did yesterday. The forecast says it will rain tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. You walk home in the rain, stopping to buy a soda at the corner store like usual. You pocket the change. Maybe you'll start saving your pocket money tomorrow, but today would be worse without that bottle of Dr. Pepper. Your hands are numb by the time you get home, since the soda was cold, and the rain was colder. You shut the door on the rain and listen to its rumble on the roof in the otherwise silent house. You take off your shoes. They're soaked, just like yesterday. You lay your socks out on the towel floor to dry next to the ones from yesterday, which you never picked up. You roll up your wet jeans and throw your backpack by your chair, then boot up your computer. You open up your messaging program, AOL, even though you don't have AOL. Maybe it's better than ICQ. I mean, everyone is using it. But you don't like it as much. Plus, there are a few friends that you lost on the way, like Andrew, who switched schools in the eighth grade. It's a new thing. A good thing. But you don't like it as much as old thing. You forget about your homework and boot up a game. Quake 2. You try out a harder difficulty on a few maps. It's definitely fun. But after a while, you close it up and open up Doom. It's familiar and just right. But you admit, Quake 2 is still pretty good. It's a new thing. A good thing. But you don't like it as much as old thing. But it's raining. There's not much else to do. Your friend pops up on AOL IM. He had planned to camp out for tickets to the new Star Wars movie, but it's been raining, so he's staying home. You decide to go to the movie together after opening day since standing around in the rain sucks. It's raining again when you decide to go see it, just like last week. You meet up with your friend at the bookstore outside the theater, where you always go to kill time before standing in line, especially when it's raining or hot. You look through the books, going through the genres you don't usually read. Maybe you'll choose something new this time, but in the end, you spend your money on another horror book, even though you haven't liked the last few horror books you bought. It's a new thing, but it's never as good as old thing. You look through the CDs. Maybe they'll have something new, but it's always the same thing as last time. The only things added are the newer bands from the radio who get their songs played every hour. They're okay, but not as good as the stuff you used to hear. Finally, you cross the rainy courtyard and throw a coin into the fountain, like usual. You cross into the carpeted foyer, then get in a line just forming outside one of the ten theaters in the multiplex showing Star Wars. You talk about expectations, and how great Dark Forces 2 was, until it's time to go in. You find your usual seats in the first row up from the floor, right in the middle, where you can kick up your feet on the rail while watching. You and your friend pull out your smuggled snacks, like usual and watch the endless parade of slides, then previews before the movie. The movie's wild, but something's not right. Your friend who works at the theater nods to you as you leave. Pretty awesome, huh? You hesitate. Yeah. It's a new thing, but definitely not as good as old thing. Prom is coming up. Everyone is going. Instead of asking out the girl you have a crush on, you ask out the most attractive girl in your class, who doesn't have a date, and is in your league because you think the girl that you actually want to ask is too good to say yes. It's a fun night. The girl seems to like you. You like all the same things and laugh at each other's jokes. And she's pretty, too. You find out she likes Typo Negative and Pantera. Rad. But she's not the girl you really like. So the next week, you just go on and pretend to be friends when she wants to be more and you spend your idle minutes in school fantasizing about the girl you like, but don't talk to. It's raining again today, harder than yesterday. You're soaked by the time you get back to your dorm room. You throw your messenger bag down on the thin, torn-up blue carpet. Your bag is what everyone uses, but it makes your shoulder hurt. Your old backpack was better. How many people have walked on that carpet, slept on this bunk, looked out this window, you boot up your PC. You ought to get on your homework since finals are coming up, but decide to play a quick game of Warcraft 3 first. It's pretty slick, but after one game you decide to open up StarCraft. Warcraft 3 is definitely a great game though. It's a new thing, but you don't like it as much as old thing. You watched the newest Star Wars film recently. It felt good. Not as good as the old ones, but good. You decide to pop in your Phantom Menace DVD while you play. 
Your roommate comes in a few minutes later, just as Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon are swimming down to the underwater city. This crap? Yeah, you say. It's got some cool scenes. Sucks compared to the old ones. Maybe. I don't know. I was in the mood. Not playing EQ? Not in the mood, I guess. I thought you were going out with Jessica this afternoon. He smiles at you. I broke up with her, actually. Didn't feel right, you know? I shouldn't be with someone if it doesn't feel right. I get it. You think about Michelle, who you dated this year, but it didn't work out. She never made you feel the way you did about... Well, whatever. There's like 15,000 girls here, you know? Yeah, but never the right one. Finally, some rain. You open up your apartment window and wait for the familiar smells to come in. You boot up your computer and log into WoW. It's fun. More fun than you've had in a long time. And it helps you to forget about your job for a while. But you miss your friends from EQ. Most of them didn't make the switch, or didn't roll on your server. The new game is good enough to make up for it, though. It's a new thing. A good thing. But it doesn't make you feel quite like old thing. Guild chat is buzzing about the new Star Wars movie. You tell them not to give any spoilers, as you were planning to watch it later, once the rest of your friends were done with work. That night, you drive through the rain to the theater, the sound drowned out by the drone of an old Typo album. You go to the bookstore to wait for a text from your friends. You look through the stacks, counting off the books you've read from the meager fantasy section. You smile as you find a copy of The Hobbit. It's an old thing, a good thing, and new things never make you feel quite as happy. Your friend texts that she's already inside. You step out into the rainy courtyard. You remember to throw a coin into the fountain on your way to the theater. You find your seat, and your friend already has popcorn for you. She gives you a slight smile, which you return awkwardly. The movie is good, but it's a new thing, and it's not as good as old thing. While you watch the credits, you chat with your friend, and she mentions she plays World of Warcraft. For a moment, you wonder if there's something there. Maybe? But then, you don't feel the same way about her that you did about the girls you knew before. So you make up your mind to just relax, enjoy the conversation, and take her for a beer afterward. Your phone buzzes, and you pull it out to check it. You wipe an errant raindrop from your screen as you slip into the car. Someone added you on Facebook. For a brief moment, you remember MySpace, then remember ICQ. New thing, pretty much the same as old thing. Who's that? Asks your girlfriend, seeing you open up the app. Some girl I went to high school with, I think. Man, she looks rough. You stare at her profile picture for a few moments and frown. It's her, isn't it? And has to be. You double check her details. Sure enough, it's her. She's just... I had a crush on her once. Oh boy, you've either really stepped it up or you're secretly into ugly cute. Your girlfriend laughs. We should get a pug. She didn't always look that way, you say. She was really cute. Some people age like milk. Facebook is weird like that. You see everybody time warped forward. Like a perpetual 20-year high school reunion, only without the option to not show up because you just lost your job. Yeah. Hey, you declined the friend request. We haven't seen each other in years and years. She's probably one of those people that just adds everyone from high school and only vaguely remembers me. You never know. She might be trying to reconnect with you because she's been thinking about you all this time. Your chance to fix unrequited love. She says it a little sarcastically, but you feel the truth of the statement. I think it's better to remember her as she was, or as I thought she was. We never talked much anyway. I didn't really know her. Suit yourself. It's not like she's competition to me. You smile. She's really not. What did you think of the movie? Pretty wild, huh? Total and complete trash. Better than the prequels though, right? It's probably the Star Wars movie my 15-year-old self would have made if you gave him $100 million and let him go wild. It's a new thing, but it's trying to be the old thing way too hard, and it sucks. Can't you just enjoy explosions and bad acting for a few hours? You laugh. I enjoyed who I got to watch it with. Thanks. You look kind of morose, though. Just thinking about the bookstore that used to be here. 
I'm sure some other company will put one in. Yeah, but it won't be the same. You pocket your phone. Oh well. Let's head home. <laughs>